Today we're going to practice syllable deletion. In syllable deletion, we're going to listen to a longer word with multiple syllables. We're going to take away the first syllable of the word, and I want you to be able to tell me which syllable is left over. So let's consider the word cupcake. We're gonna be just using compound words today. The word cupcake is a compound word because it's made up of two word parts, cup, cake. In the word cupcake, if we take away that first syllable cup, we're left with the word cake. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it without pictures. We're going to use these symbols to help us remember the, the word parts in our longer word. So if we use the word cupcake again, the red circle would be the word cup, and the star would be the word part cake. Cupcake, if we say cupcake without the cup, we're left with cake. Watch while I do another one. The next word is birthday. Say birthday. Say birthday without the initial syllable, birth, and you're left with day. Let's do another one. The word is daytime. Say daytime without day, and you're left with time. Watch me do one more. This is the word airport. Say airport. Airport without air is port. I think you're ready to do one on your own. This is the word eyesight. Say eyesight. Now say eyesight, but don't say I. You're left with sight. Very good. Let's do the word football. Say football. Now say football, but don't say foot. You're left with ball. Very good. This word is disk drive. Say disk drive. Now say disk drive, but don't say disk. Drive, very good. Let's do a couple more. Say bedtime. Now say bedtime, but don't say bed. Time, very good, you're getting faster. Say the word iceberg. Now say iceberg, but don't say ice. Berg, very good. The word is flashlight. Say flashlight. Say flashlight, but don't say flash. Light, very good. One more. The word is doorbell. Now say doorbell, but don't say door. Bell, 